Good day everybody. This is Professor Friday from Macomb Community College and today we're going to be working with some conic sections. The problem for us today is to find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix of the parabola with the equation y squared plus 4y plus 8x minus 12 is equal to zero. First off we'd like to note to ourselves that this is not the preferred form for a parabola. The preferred form that we like is y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4p times x minus h. This is where the vertex is represented by the variables h and k and p represents the distance from the vertex to both the focus as well as the directrix. So with that in mind I'm going to take the original equation and we're going to convert it into standard form. The way that we need to do this is to group the y terms together as well as move the x terms over to the other side. We can accomplish this by subtracting 8x and adding 12 to both sides of the equation. Next on the left hand side we'll notice that there is a square that needs to be completed. So we'll go through the process of completing the square. In order to complete the square, we need to grab the coefficient of y. Coefficient of y is 4. First thing we do is divide by 2. We get a result of 2. And we square that number, and we get 4. This is the constant that we're going to add to both sides of the equation to complete the square. Let's go ahead and do that now. y squared plus 4y plus 4. That's the 4 that we are going to add to both sides of the equation. The right side of the equation was negative 8x plus 12. Now we have negative 8x plus 12 plus the 4 we just added to both sides. Next, we'll factor the left hand side as it is now a completed square. This would be y plus 2, quantity squared is equal to. Combining like terms on the right hand side we have negative 8x plus 16. The last step, if we take a look back at our note up here, is that the right hand side should also be factored. So we'll factor out a greatest common factor of negative 8, negative because the x term contains the negative. When we factor out a negative greatest common factor, that would be negative 8 times the quantity x minus 2. Now that we've completed our standard form for the parabola, we can identify the vertex based on the number that has been subtracted from the x and subtracted from the y. The number subtracted from x would be positive 2, and the number subtracted from y would be negative 2. So the vertex is going to occur at 2, negative 2. In addition, we see that because the y terms were the ones that were squared, and the x term is to the first power, our parabola opens up horizontally. It will either open to the left or to the right depending on the coefficient of x. Because the coefficient is negative, it will open to the left. So we'll make a note that we have a y squared and a negative coefficient of x. When we combine these two pieces of information, we get that our parabola opens to the left. Now the other piece of information that we need here is the value of p. We'll notice from our note up here that the coefficient of our x minus h is supposed to be 4p, or in this case negative 4p. p represents a distance and so p is supposed to be a positive value. We use the negative to figure out that it opens to the left, and now we'll use the fact that we have an 8 there to figure out the appropriate distance. So 4p is supposed to be equal to 8, which takes us to the fact that p is equal to 2. Now once again, this represents the distance from the vertex to both the focus and the directrix. 
Now with this in mind, and the fact that it opens to the left, the focus will be located to the left of the vertex. So we're going to start at our vertex, which is 2, comma, negative 2. And in order to move two units to the left, we'll subtract 2 from the x-coordinate. That indicates a movement to the left. This tells us that our focus is located at the point 0, negative 2. The directrix, because we established that the parabola opens to the left, the directrix will be a vertical line and it will be located to the right of the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex was 2 because we're moving two more units to the right from the fact that p equals 2, we'll add another 2 to that, which tells us that our directrix is x equals 4. So when we put it all together, the three pieces of information asked of us to find in this problem, we have the vertex, put a couple of little stars around that, the vertex is at the point 2, negative 2, the focus, put a couple stars around this, focus is at 0, negative 2, and the directrix is at x equals 4, the vertical line. Well, that concludes this problem. I'll see you on the next one.